it's Junie, and sometimes I just want to disappear. Oh, magic! So I'm gonna build a robot that lets me hide in plain sight. Ah! Ah! Let's just say there was an incident. Once upon a time, literally yesterday, Junie was in the library, not invisible. When something came up to her, they call it the talker. Excuse me, Junie Gray, would you like to engage in a conversation? For six hours. Jason, take the wheel. Yeah, and it's midterms up in here. I'm not playing around, let me study. So I'm gonna create the ultimate stealth robot. Yeah. The first thing we gotta do is weld the base structure. And this is gonna consist of a shoulder mount and a metal ring connected by two pieces of steel. Weld, weld. Zzz, zzz. Weld, yeah. The purpose of the metal ring is to hold the fabric that's gonna come down in front of me. You can think of it like a shower curtain, but no one's getting clean. Wow. The next part is the curtain itself. In order to control the motion, I'm gonna mount four motors equally spaced around that metal curtain ring. And this will be able to control whenever the curtain moves up or comes down. Hey. So the reveal with this robot, it should be like shocking. It should be unexpected. Like with the fabric coming up, you just does not see it coming. So I set up an example. Let's do a countdown. Three. Ah! Finally, it's time to talk about electronics because you know, like science. The Arduino and all the batteries are gonna be mounted to an acrylic board that's gonna go in the middle of that metal ring. In order to switch the direction of the motors manually, I'm gonna install a push button that can tell the motors whether to move clockwise or counterclockwise. Now it's time to find our fabric. Are you going to Target? <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna go to- Joey's not fun. Technology. We're really good at this. Working. Junie, we have to do the next part of the video. Ugh, fine. Cut the bit. Wow. But how does it work? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Welcome to the next episode of Testing Robots with your good old pal Junie. Today we're going to be testing robots with your good old pal Junie. <laughs> My main issue with testing robots is that it never goes right on the first time. It always goes horribly wrong. But that's why we're having this show so that we can do this together. Uh. So we're gonna be testing this together for the first time and we are gonna see... Just gonna see. So what is supposed to happen is that I'm gonna turn this on and then this curtain is gonna come down and hide me. What will actually happen? Only time. We'll tell. Ah! I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe. It worked. I can't, I can't believe, I can't, I can't, I can't see. Ah! Now it's time to finish what we started. Oh, there you are. Oh, great Judy, now we can finish our conversation. Yesterday, my car got told whenever I went to the bakery for just a minute to pick up some nice farm fresh egg sandwiches. I knew that I was tempting fate because I wasn't supposed to park there between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. on weekdays, but I just decided to walk in for a minute and I saw that there really wasn't a line, so I figured that I'd be okay. But the minute that I left the car, the minute that I left the car, I saw the meter ray walking up to my car, I just Um, I'll see you later. Now that is how you hide in plain sight. You're not invisible. What?